Good morning, everyone. Today's Monday. Let's make a lot of money this week, right? Let's put our focus on that. And making customers happy and fixing problems and just make things better. That's what you do on a Monday. That should be your attitude. We still got our puddle issues. We had a bunch of rain in the last two days. Yeah. I got all my tools I left in there, Craig. Sorry. But let me just say, when I did come back here with the truck, loaded up by myself on a 115 degree day after working six hours by myself putting a paver set, there's a truck right here. Now the truck's got to get backed out. And then we notice that this isn't in far enough. Oh, so then I started to get more angry. So then I just pulled this in and I left that out. So I thought I had a better story than that. I was really aggravated. What's with the uh, uncoated roll of copper? Oh, Seriously? yeah. <laughs> this is $600, folks. $600. Imagine that. Minus what? What do you take off? Six feet? Yeah, six feet. Six hundred dollars. Yeah, you made a mistake and cut like four feet off of it. It's like, guy, come on. Dude. <laughs> Craig hit a water main. Brian hit a water main. I had a to a my cable, defense. I had a cable line. Hit a cable line. Yeah, we had to go out on Saturday to prove to the customer that, you know, cause they said, you know, the electrical lights didn't work and a couple of toilets didn't work and the washing machine didn't work, refrigerator. So, cause tank masters hit a cable line that possibly was us. But we went out and explained it. They're nice folks, crazy money. If we took that to the recycle, what do you think we'd get for that? 89 cents? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, what is it a pound, Jammer? How much is the uh, copper a pound? No idea. <laughs> All right. Um, that's it. Today's an, and not, it's not an easy one. It's a hard one, but uh, it's easy because it's right next to Craig's house. Yeah, let's figure out a way. For you to not have to come back. <laughs> for, for Taryn to cook us lunch outside. No deal. That's what we should do. All right, we're going to load up. What do we got? We got an underground tank removal it's under with a, it's under a it's deck. It's your favorite under vent filler outside the deck, but the rest is under it, so you have to do the end cap pull. Oh my God. Another well line right in the way. It's your favorite. Yeah, and we'll kill it. Two seconds from my house. Yeah. We and Corey lives right there too. And we're putting in a horizontal, so we will see you out there, folks. Okay, folks, we've reached our destination and we've got Michael. He's arrived on site. Let's see how today's gonna go. Underground tank removal, the horizontal installation under a deck. Here comes Corey. There's a tank there. Yeah, a temp tank. A temp tank? Oh, it definitely leaks. Jeez. So what are we removing that to? Yeah, I told him to put it over there. Oh, I did the, you? I brought the big, didn't you want this job? I'm sure it's half full, so, yep, there it is. You know, what's the effort actually of putting the block in the leg in the center of the block? Who did that? Carpenter and Smith. Oh. Oy vey, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. So, Bob, let's put a 90 and snack. Nah, cut a hole in it. Just cut a hole in the lattice. Is it a direct... Uh, can you stick it? Maybe with a broken one. Get okay, so we're good then. So what's going to go in under there? Yeah, as soon as this is open. How are we getting this out? What is it? Okay. Right here? No? Yeah. 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 I just wanted to see if it was those hex screws. Right, the biggest issue. Yeah, I'm hitting a weld line. And that, you know where it comes in? Right there. Of course. See the uh, washer dryer vent? 
Wow, man. Why? And they had to go over this way because of the roots. Wow. Gosh darn it. Hey, do we have the straps? Good, good going, Craig. Good going. So I'll just move it and then transfer it back in later. Yeah, we're, you know, the line. We're hitting the line. Okay. We get the machine in. We're not backfilling, though. What's this? Well, I, uh, it looks like they just had like a planter box. Or something. Like, oh, one, right like one of those tire things. I, I thought you'd want the plate for that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Look look at how the tank is uneven. It's just they didn't even dig it in. Eh. It's easy to be Monday morning quarterback, right? Okay, folks, we're at it. Alright. Team's banging. I had a little conversation with the homeowners and boom. That was a part like that? Yes. Look at that clean cut. They had those big straps, right? Yes. The Let's hoist this thing out of the way. That's going to be uh, 1,200 pounds right there. He brought them straps, didn't he? Yeah. He grabs them. I don't know where he put them, though. Yeah. It's in the back. Oh, they're right there. That would be known as the front. All right, that should work. Hope. Let's hit a water line now. Hey, if this is a deep tank, it ain't gonna come out. I don't know how that's together. I gotta look. We got a sled here. Cut it. I'm serious. Just cut it. <clears throat> get I'll get the light. Trying to do a show here, guys. Come on now. Yeah, we're gonna go like this, though. Hey, we have enough room to go this way? You're not yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna do this. So absolutely, yeah, and even more so when I pull the ladder out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna go like this. Without, wait, you got a window You're two feet away. Yeah, I'll do it. You're good. I'm gonna leave the vent inside. All right, get that freaking thing out of my way so I can hit the water man. Freaking, freaking, freaking what? Uh, I'll set the plastic up. Dude, I, I have zero help today. <laughs> zero help. Let me just say. Hey, watch this. Look. I was gonna. <laughs> you ruined it. I know all your moves. You just give up like that? Well, yeah. I, I, you know. Wow. I get no help around here. What scoop? What scoop do I hit the main at? All right. So we're gonna go real slow. Try to 
to get this thing in as deep as I can. Curl it and move back. Get the other side. the top of the tank right there so that's a good thing on this side I'll be able to go right down alongside of the tank which will free up a lot of the let's just say suction that the tank and the ground creates. Now we will take out the top of the tank. One more. Take all this front. Get this out of here. I think we're going to be good. Oh boy, I'm feeling really confident, guys. Really confident. And then psh, we hit a water man. Getting in, Sam? Going in? Oh, I thought you were waiting. Hold on, hold on, we just... Craig did comment about my excavating skills. Didn't he? Where is he now? I'm here for you, bro. I appreciate that. I'm gonna dig more out of there, cause that's still... Right there, brother. Yeah, man. Leave the... um. You can bend it that way. No, you see this light here? Leave that. I use that for rigidity. Okay, so and you want me to I want you to go like this. Go down. You want, me to make, you want me to get the hole out of it? 
like that. Leave this end for me. So you want me to take it off? Yeah, could you? Oh, no, uh, when I can bend it. I can bend it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Am I good to cut? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Okay. Frank, at the beginning, you challenged my excavating skills. Yeah. What do you think? You said if it wasn't fortified inches, it was. So that defeats the challenge. You did a great job. Hey, folks, look at where these Momoluks put a temp line. It's, it's just mind boggling. All they had to do was tie it into that union. You're right. That'll get a little wobbly right here at the end. Go ahead. There you go. Yes, sir. You come right here and watch. Okay. Yeah, man. Nice job. Got you me a pad there. Yeah. I want to show. So see these right here? Those are your drop tubes. So we'll see if they were down in the sludge. That one's not bad. That one is right there. That was up against the metal. So that may be the problem. Because we stuck it and there was no water in it. So you may not have a problem. So we're going to get that one set up for you and we'll transfer all the good fuel. We should be able to fill that up. Okay. And we'll get close, we'll get close. Why are you digging out here and not in there? Because I didn't want it to see, be able to like be out of the ground on the inside. So and, and see the orange line? Yeah, so I'm going to bury it outside. All right. That's good. I like that. That's good, my brother. Actually, my son. My boy. Corey's my, boy. Corey's my boy. <laughs> and those are my boys. Dude, imagine this. Dude. Bring the line in. <laughs> Just roar into the house. What's that look like in the basement? Not bad because they ran off and around. Oh yeah, okay. All right. We got this. Okay. We are transferring. Let's see how the boys are doing. <laughs> oh, lighting is great in here. It died. It just died. Yeah. These pieces of shit batteries don't don't hold for nothing. Insane. That charged for like two dude. It's, it's been plugged. Yeah, it's, it's just been places. constantly plugged in. These people and their their love for battery operated things. They're the ones that got the uh, the battery operated cars. <laughs> Let it go. We like combustion. We like fuel. We like explosive gasoline inside cylinders. Diesel. That's what we like. Combustion. 
That's gonna go over big. We're an oil company. Yeah. We need combustion to survive. We need, and we need it to leak and pollute the environment. You know, all those tall people that look down at short people. Look, I can stand right up in here. Yeah. <laughs> stand right up. Okay. Easy money. Boom. Hey, I'm gonna say this deck's about five five. Yeah. My head's hitting the top. Okay. The temp is empty. Now we're pumping from his existing. Craig is going to strap the fill pipe with the swing joint so it has the proper pitch. And notice how we didn't just cut a hole in the lattice. People are they're amazing sometimes. Everything I want to. The laziness. A lot of sludge. So just to give people, so these folks replace their tank. You should replace your tank anyway. But they replaced their tank because the burner was taking on sludge. So this sludge, the drop tube went down into the, sl into the sludge. So instead of having to do all this and spend all this money, unscrew these and pull it up about three inches. That'll pull it out of the sludge. And then just retighten it. But, replace your tank. 25 years. 15 to 25. 25 to 35 for your above ground. Corey and Craig are running the new lines. Yeah, my is scraping now. This is the satisfying part. See all, see all them pits? Huh? See all them pits? Yeah, there are a lot of pits. But I think they're going to be okay. We'll find out. Yes, we will, man. The drama continues. Ooh, that one's full. That's the maximum weight, a bucket full of sludge. Wipe that down. Boy, the fitting is bad. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, folks. There goes nothing.
gonna get one quick scoop. It's fine. Look at the tank. Do we see any light coming through? No, nope, we see a close one right there though. But she's good. This is all flaking off. I think they had another five years on that. And then the deck would have had to come down. All right, folks, we backfill. I want to get this stuff in deep because this is better packing soil than that black topsoil that I have. I'm going to give you a sec. It's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> Still the one. Who sings it? I don't know. Orleans. He's got 90's cuckoo clock in there. Oh yeah? Looks like a big one. Nanny loves her cuckoo clocks. That's my mom. She was a wonderful woman. She had five boys and we were all scared shitless of her. Because she could whoop the crap out of us. But she didn't. One second. All right. I'm going to 
to say by far, hands down, the most valuable tool we own. Oh, Corey, I'm not gonna get it. Corey, you don't have to personally attack me. I told you for about You five and I, years. you and I are gonna tumble. Don't about we're gonna five years to get a blower. Whatever. You don't listen, you don't listen to me. So I tried to throw you a little compliment there. I was gonna build it up a little. Nah. Amazing. These kids, man. What? Throw it right in the camp? <laughs> no, don't. Hey, I'll show you how to use that blower. This guy is, is having the show of his life in there. Like going to the circus. All right, folks, you know the rest, right? Exactly. That's the question. Yeah, I don't know. That looks perfect to me. These kids are so critical. I turned it on too late for you folks to hear them verbally abusing me. Hey Jammer, drive out of here a little bit. Just a little bit so I can fix this right here. Obviously couldn't get a good compaction in. Oh please, please. Um, couldn't get a good compaction in there, so we're gonna go five or six inches high so it sinks down to level. down, Bri. Let me go get a couple of scoops. I gotta get a couple of scoops.
right there. It was a rake. Oh, you got that car? Yeah, yeah I was gonna it. wait till they're finished. Oh, okay. You got screws, Craig? Yeah. New ones? Look, look at this. This is unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Some of it you can try. It Feed these. me, my boy. Dude, I bought you no, one inch. I brought screws. these from my house. I'm just using them. All right. I have your screws. If their screws are in it. Where where you want me to put them? That's just a broken screw. Right here, you can use this one. It's amazing, right? Hey, it's not bad for our first job, <laughs> right? This, this, uh, nothing I can do about that. Oh no, that's... Hold on. Just take it out and walk together anyway. <laughs> no golf cart. How am I getting up there? You and I can hold hands and walk together. <laughs> he thinks I'm funny. <laughs> Little comedy. All the way up there, Mike, you heard him. You heard him. He's got all this grass clippings up here. Yeah, right? Okay. Seriously, this is like the best weather. Yeah. Oh. I like the 10 degrees cold. I don't know why. Dude, it's like 65. I don't know, it's sweat. Hey, is Wallace gonna cha uh, charge you to get rid of this? You didn't hear me. Is Wallace gonna take that away for you? I don't know, I hope they do. Yeah. Call them. Let me know if they're gonna charge you for it. If they're gonna charge you for it, you say, never mind, I'll get rid of it myself. And then call me up. I'll come, I'll come get it for 400. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll, I'll take it for free. We, we have our little YouTube channel. Do you watch YouTube? Yeah. You do? No, you don't. Of course not. Well, we actually have a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're on TV. We're famous. You gotta get some seed. We have it, right? We don't have any seed. Yeah, I'm gonna punch somebody in the head. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. If we don't have seed, somebody's getting punched. We need to buy some. I bought 100 pounds. We didn't buy any seed. Yeah, I did. What? Yeah, okay, Corey. And I bought five gallon spackle buckets to put them in. Hey, I was thinking the other day when I picked you up at Lowe's uh -huh. and we were going to go to Dole to work, we left the five gallon buckets in your truck. I think you know what I'm going to say. Craig's going to throw down two strips of grass. Perfect amount of grass here. Well, there's none in the middle, none on the edges. Watch a pro do it. We are. Get these today, right? We missed. All right. Everything minus the seating, Corey. What? Everything minus the seating. Seating perfect. There's another fun job, I think. That's Craig, you want to say it too? Because you're a closer? Attitude. You little baby. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one, folks.